Tom Brady's on the downside of his career, and, and if you ask me if he'll ever get to another Super Bowl, I have one answer. No way, no how. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 49. The Patriots and the defending champions and the Seattle Seahawks. And when we talk about that heart, that straight up dog in you, okay? I'm going to roll with Seattle. It started seven, eight months ago, right? All for this moment. We win this game, you're honored. Your kids are honored. Your families are honored. Win on three. One, two, three. Super Bowl 49 underway. I know we're still holding on to the five game, five, five Super Bowl appearances, the three Super Bowls. Listen, when you get older, just so all of you out there, when you get older, you can't do the things that you did 10 years ago, five years ago. The Patriots have not won since my game. They haven't won in a long time. The problem I have is with all these apologists out here who act like it's blasphemous to say that Tom Brady has been bad, to, put, to place blame at the feet of Tom Brady. This is the draft report on you. Basically, it goes poor build, skinny, lacks great physical stature and strength. So Tom Brady faces an uphill battle now. Lacks mobility and ability to avoid the rush. And by three points, he knows that a field goal could put them into overtime. He was skinny, slow. <laughs> right. As Tom Brady leads the Wolverines back underrated college quarterback in the country, Tom Brady. Tom Brady in, in that game on Saturday. Jim, he's not only a special quarterback, he's a special leader. I don't think uh, any team could ever have a guy that uh, truly embodies the spirit of Michigan, putting the team first than Tom Brady. What do you think makes a good ball player? He's really been a special quarterback, hasn't he, Lloyd? And uh, he's one of those guys that when the pressure hits, he comes through. These two teams met the toughest schedules in all of college football in the BCS computer rankings. And a dramatic finish as Michigan wins its 10th game of the year. Tom Brady, four touchdown passes. We kidded you about being the comeback kid. You didn't want to have to wait to the fourth quarter to bring the team back, but you did a tremendous job. What better way to go as a fifth-year senior as the Warren Bowl big At the Combine, when you watch Tom, <laughs> you saw this tall, gangly-looking kid. Looked like having ever seen a weight room. His 40 time and that vertical jump in 32 years of doing this, we've talked about 576 quarterbacks. He was number 576. Does he wow you throwing the ball? Mm -mm. There were some other guys that could shoot it, and he had just an okay arm. Okay, he didn't get drafted till pick 199, the sixth round. A lot of people don't believe in you. Has been is obvious by you know six other quarterbacks taken and 198 other picks. And I always felt, you know what, once I get my shot, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to really take advantage of that. But you just signed a $100 million contract. The last right. thing you're thinking is this sixth-round pick out of Michigan is going to take your job. No, no, that was the last thing on my mind. Talk to me about your favorites. Talk to me about your favorites because it, yeah, it's time about under. Love under, okay. Like sticks. He was right in my hip pocket all the time trying to learn. Um, so I figured he'd be like a 10, 11-year backup. It was kind of what I figured. Okay. You just want to throw so you can get on TV, huh? Yeah. <laughs> No slight against the other guys. It's just the fellows who work He's in the NFL the are the best, and, and it's nice to have them back on. So third down and ten now. Big play for the Patriots. Let's go. This is with the more critical than the first down. Bledsoe's injuries will thrust second-year backup Tom Brady into the starting role for the Sunday's matchup against the high-powered Indianapolis Colts. The Patriots organization would never be the same. I've always told myself, if you ever get this opportunity, because you never know how many you're going to get. Um, and when you do get your opportunity, you better be ready to take advantage, especially with how competitive this league is. We are nodded at seven. Now this is when the 
Patriots are at their best. They led the NFL with 66 points in the final two minutes. Is going to be here where where Drew's going to be healthy, Tom's playing well. What's going to happen here? Tom Brady had won five of his first eight starts, but in many ways, the 2001 Patriots were still Drew Bledsoe's team. Frustrated, or how do you feel? <laughs> Next question. But you were the number one pick. Yeah. And he was sixth round. Yeah. I was certain I was going to get my job back. Anyway, did you see this coming through? Um, I'll just put it this way. I look forward to the chance to compete for my job. Today's big story is the Brady Bledsoe debate. We want to know who you think should start. At that point, Drew Bledsoe was our franchise. They just signed him to a new 10 year deal. He was the man at the time. The New England Patriots against the St. Louis Rams in Super Bowl 36. a favorite fairy tale and mine is in Hawaii right now getting ready for the Pro Bowl from stacking groceries to MVP of the Super Bowl the Rams quarterback Kurt Warner this is the greatest show on turf coming in this is the, 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 the team that everybody labeled you know, the Super Bowl champion before the season all the publications had them winning the Super Bowl. The 11 the guessing game is over Tom Brady the starting quarterback for the Patriots in the Super Bowl. But if you're the Rams which one of these quarterbacks do you want to face? It really doesn't matter. If I'm the Rams, I'm going to beat whoever they got back. The St. Louis Rams were the greatest show on turf. Kurt Warner, after the three years he's had, he's proven himself as one of the finest quarterbacks of his generation. And of course, Marshall Falk, the best running back in the league without question. But the smart money says the Rams, and having said the Rams last week by 20, I've got to stick with that. I just got this funny feeling it might be just a little bit closer. This guy is really cool, though. I mean, I. I've been impressed watching Tom Brady on film and you know on television games and so on, but the way he's playing this game today, he has been very, very impressive with his calmness. Tom Brady, overrated. And now with no timeouts, I think that the I think that the Patriots with this field position. You have to just run the clock out. You have to play for overtime now. I don't think you want to force anything. I remember the first time he met me, he called me Kyle Brady. Uh, you know, the, the tight end. All he knew was Brady. So he said, hey, Kyle. Gets it up. The J.R. Redmond. I said, hey, Mr. Kraft. I said, I'm Tom Brady. You know, I don't, I don't agree with what the Patriots are doing right here. I would, I, would, I, would, I would play for overtime. If I had good field position, I would. Then a Terry loosening on the sideline. I said, I know who you are. You're our six-round draft choice. They need about 40 more yards before they're going to be in field goal range. And I always remember he looked me like a laser eye to eye. And now I kind of like what the Patriots are doing. And he said, that's right, and I'm the best decision this organization has ever made. And it's Troy Brown, and he gets out of bounds, and they might be in Vinatieri's reign. Seven seconds. They got Vinatieri in range. Brady pulls the ball to the ground with seven seconds left, and Adam Vinatieri will try to win it with a 47-yard field goal. The fans are ready. The teams are ready. Hello, everyone, and welcome.
welcome to the biggest one-day sporting event in the world. We're at Super Bowl 38 to crown an American football champion. Third and ten for the Panthers. Play fake. The ball pulls it down. Looking, looking. Going to go deep. Has his man wide open. It's Muhammad. Muhammad to the 15. Panthers 22, Patriots 21. Yeah, what a turn of events for the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers. Brady looking to throw. Touchdown! Mike Frable. Patriots lead it 29-22. Big blitz throwing the end zone. Touchdown! Casey's kick is good. This game is tied. Is have the Carolina Panthers left too much time on the clock? We're sitting here with 108 left to go. Yeah, we gotta get us another. We gotta get How would that do with that quarterback? I'm sitting over there sweating bullets, and Ty Law, he looked at me. He said, Rodney, we're not gonna lose this game. You know why? Leadership is something that's not feigned. Either you have it or you don't have it. Bill Belichick said, if it gets in the fourth quarter and it's tight, we're gonna put the football in Tom Brady's hands. Troy Brown with the catch. Midfield still on his feet. Forward progress will be marked to about the 47-yard line. Brady throwing. Got his man inside the 30. Penalty marker fly. Pass interference. Offense number 80. It was a push-off. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. First and 20 now. Brady. Tight game. They're still let Tom Brady do it. Catch at the 45-yard line. 30 seconds to play. To me, what separates really good players from great players, execute well under pressure. How do you deal with the pressure? That goes for every player. Tom Brady being number one. I wouldn't disagree at all. It's his man, Daniel Graham, to the 40. Boy, you have to wonder, is it in the cards again for Adam Vinatieri, who has not had a sterling night here tonight? Tom Brady wasn't something that happens every year. You're not going to find that six-round quarterback who becomes a Hall of Famer. It just isn't going to happen. He's mad inside the 25-yard line. Deion Branch made the catch. Timeout is called with eight seconds on the clock. And when I look at Tom Brady, Joe Montana is the, is the name that pops into my mind that I say, this guy reminds me of Joe Montana. Patriots claim their second Super Bowl championship in three years. We have talked about it in this era of free agency and player movement. That's as close to a dynasty as you're ever going to find. Well, it is, Greg. 15 games in a row. Uh, I don't know about the Tom Brady before, but the Tom Brady now, if he looks at you, it just gives you that. And uh, that nervousness. And every time I'm in coverage, Tom Brady look over there at me. I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> is a guy who has started his postseason career 8 and 0. That's the best start ever. He's the guy to my right, Troy Aikman, started 7 and 0. He is the youngest quarterback to start three Super Bowls. Right, zero slot out, 74, quick, D slant, on one, ready? That's something they like to do. Second and goal. Mr. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Is he the best already? Gibbons, touchdown. I'm going to put him as the best of all time. Prince Trotter comes again. Throws. Pass is caught. Mike Grable on the end of the line, the left side. Great. A meteoric rise to 10 0. And the New England Patriots will be the first dynasty of the 21st century. For the third time in the last four years, the Patriots celebrate. Three guys around him. 51-yard touchdown pass. Tom Brady threading the needle to Randy Moss. A 
<laughs> and the Patriots are blowing the doors off the New York. What do you say about Randy Moss? People have been wondering, did he have anything left? You put them together? Putting those two together? You know, Peyton Manning had his wide receivers. Why can't Tom have his? You see the coverage, but you just throw it up and look at Randy Moss go up, fight for the football. That is strictly a case I want it more than you do. Four touchdown catches from Washington. That's Randy Moss for six more. He's ready to Moss. Throwing for Moss. That team is one of the most hated teams in NFL history. Why do people hate the Patriots? It's Tom Brady. People love to hate people and teams that win, that are successful. One of the most successful football teams, NFL teams in history. Touchdown New England. Taking his time across the goal line. I think every guy in that locker room feels that they have a personal relationship with Tom Brady, and, and that's not easy to do. And Brady will throw four Moss. Touchdown, Patriots. With that, where do you want to start? We got all, break, all records breaking here. With that, the Patriots break the league scoring record for a single season, surpassing the 98 Vikings. With that, Brady ties Peyton Manning for the most touchdown throws in a season at 49. To be able to touch each and every guy in that locker room and have a relationship with them, I think speaks volumes uh, you know, for Tom Brady and the person that he is. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Randy. And maybe congratulations, New England Patriots. Oh, my goodness. 50 touchdown passes. I, I, I just, you know, it's absolutely incredible what he's been able to do. You now have Peyton Manning. You now have Dan Marino. And Tom Brady stands alone. The New England Patriots were clearly a better football team than the New York football giants that day. The Patriots got robbed by the luckiest play in NFL history. Stays on his feet. Tyree managed to pin it against the side of his helmet. That stink is the perfect season, 18 and 0. Super Bowl. It will go down as one of the biggest upsets in Super Bowl history as the Giants win it by three. Play action fake. Ready to throw. Under pressure. Hit as he throws. Brady is hurt. He is down on the leg. He got whacked just as he threw that football. It should look like a knee injury. Tom Brady missed basically all of the 2008 season with a left knee injury. Good evening, everyone. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's time for the season opener for the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. As I watch this game tonight very closely, I'll watch Tom Brady's left knee. That was the injured knee. Edwards trying to set up a screen to Jackson. The 2007 MVP rehabbed and led the Patriots to a 10-6 mark this season, the AFC East title, and a return to the playoffs. You just don't know what script is going to play out. You thought Brady come back maybe a little rusty. They'll take care of the Bills. The Bills. They fired their offensive coordinator ten days ago, right? Yep. Huh? And all eyes will be focused on Tom Brady of the Patriots. He missed all of last season when he suffered that devastating knee injury in the opener against Kansas City. Brady, 35 of 49, 329. Six to go in the game, and the Patriots are within range. Let's show the Buffalo Bills that this is a football team. It's not a bunch of guys running around out there in the same jersey. This is a football team. And the ball came out. Brady in the shotgun, fall to his right. Brady takes the shotgun snap. Stands in, stands in, fires, end zone, touchdown, Benjamin Watson! Tom Brady, you are Tom Terrific! Exactly. Tom Terrific does it again. 
goes without saying that Brady will be in the discussion if he's not already. He's one of the best. Of I all think time. he's the greatest, if the, if not the best. Do you? I do. I think he's the greatest that ever played the game. No timeouts. Ten seconds left. And you have the ball at a 17 yard line. Uh, that's two shots into the end zone. Sin and a sound. I'm lost and I'm found. He's not that guy. He doesn't have Adam Venateri anymore. He's not the same. Brady over the middle, and it's picked off at the 42-yard line by Bobby Wagner. Brady, four intercepted, cutting underneath. Hussein Abdullah all the way home. Kansas City touchdown. Tom Brady was bitch. For all of you out there in the world, Tom Brady was bitch. It's great. It's hard to go. It's almost gone. Thank you. We saw a weak team, the New England Patriots. Let's face it, they're not good anymore. He played terrible against uh, Baltimore, and they were lucky to get into the Super Bowl. That was luck. It won't happen again. Uh, here's where you really, for Tom Brady, you kind of got to just keep it together, right? Okay, you made a big mistake. You start the first half, you make a big mistake here in the second half, but these two teams have played from behind during the entirety of these playoffs. No big deal. Second goal. Lee Fate. The lob wide open. Touchdown, Doug Baldwin. At 24 0, be honest with me, at halftime, did you give the Patriots a chance here? I didn't. In fact, I had all my great tapes made up for the good Broncos. <laughs> it does seem like Tom is almost obsessive still to this day about the draft and about Michigan and, and not being royalty day one in the league. He still does carry that chip on his shoulder. He's carried it around his entire career. It's driven him. It's what made him great. And at this point, I think it's okay to say that Brady is number one. Everybody thinks Gronkowski's crazy. <laughs> Brady's nuts right now. Tom Brady lived up to the villain. He was unbelievable. He really did. And the win was such a huge factor. Distractions. He's had good moments in this game. He's made some big mistakes. I know he seems perfect, but he's a human being. He's 37 years old. Which Here's is a news flash. At a certain point, everybody is going to fall off. And he's going to get sacked. He said he will play until he sucks. He knows that's a, it's inevitable that at some point he will not be able to play at the same level. What did Richard Sherman say? What did he say a couple of days ago that we addressed <laughs> yesterday? Yeah. He is, Mr. Brady is not what you all project him to be. Tom Brady is overrated. Third and 14, and Brady's going to step up, fire over the middle, and it is taken by Edelman. So you run a route across the middle against this defense, you do so at your own risk for Cam Chancellor. To I think that people need to acknowledge that there's a reason why they keep coming up short. And Brady looking for more. Stepping up third day, throws first down and more. This may be, in my mind, the greatest Super Bowl performance I have ever seen. Brady dances, throws, and it will be caught. Amendola for the touchdown. 
New England had a certain blueprint, and that blueprint works. It's all good when Tom Brady's in his 20s. And, and, and by the way, it's even better when he hasn't suffered a season-ending in, knee injury. Tom Brady and the Patriots looking for a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead here in Super Bowl 49. It's Tom Brady. If he wins the Super Bowl, that's his fourth championship. That is the rarest of rarefied air right there. Is Tom Brady the best quarterback that we've ever seen play the game? Hands down. I said it right before I got to New England. Hands down, the greatest ever. Tom Brady is the best quarterback in NFL history. Brady starts out of the gun. Green flanks it. Tom Brady, last night, against that defense, had the greatest fourth quarter of his career. And out of the slot. Send it to him. Breaks a tackle. And another. Makes it all close to a first down. When you shower praise on people, that elevates expectation. And what happened is, Tom Brady might not live up to it against the Legion of Boom this Sunday. Stand away from him, much as Aaron Rodgers did on opening night. Brady. Second and ten. Is he the greatest? He is now, at least in my eyes, I think a lot of people, unequivocally the greatest quarterback of all time. Gronkowski out at the 20 yard line, second and goal. He cemented himself um, in NFL lore as one of the greatest ever. The greatest fourth quarter of his career. And if Tom Brady does happen to become MVP of this Super Bowl, I believe that Tom Brady would become the greatest single player ever to have played the game of football. Russell in the pocket. Russell for with a football? I think Butler hit it and it fell right wow, back down to the ground. Unbelievable. Crazy. How many different plays are the Patriots going to have like this? Yeah. Mario Manningham, David Tyree, right. this was, and now a curse. This was where Tyree had the helmet catch. But they're not in yet. Do you let him score? Do yep. you put the ball back in the hands of Tom Brady? And I guarantee you, Bill Belichick is sitting here thinking about it right now. It's on his mind. It has to be. Here he goes. Beast mode to the half-yard line. And now New England has to think about taking a timeout. He's going at three. Three, knock him down. You bleed the clock all the way down. They're bleeding it right down, down to a half a minute. Second and goal. Baldwin sets up on the left. Play clock at five. You know what my favorite ring is? The next one. Intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler. Intercepted. He intercepted to Malcolm Butler. This is the draft report on you. Basically, it goes poor build, skinny, lacks great physical stature and strength, lacks mobility and ability to avoid the rush. Tall, gangly looking kid. Looked like he hadn't ever seen a weight room. He was skinny, slow. <laughs> right. You know, I just want to tell you, it's you know, one of the best decisions you ever made picking me.